新年快乐，恭喜发财，红包拿来。Hi hi, it's Miki, and welcome to a gorgeous unboxing video. I thought since Chinese New Year was coming up, or you know, is today, <laughs>、um, it would be appropriate to unbox this lovely lady for the occasion. Everyone, please say hello to the one seventh scale Xiao Hua Hatsune Miku figure by. Mythos. Seeing this figure in person makes me super regret that I did not pre-order the Celestia Ludenberg figure that was also produced by Mythos. Ah,、uh, I feel so bad because I remember seeing it when it was on pre-orders, and I didn't get it because I was thinking, oh well, Celeste isn't my favorite figure, so I don't need one of her. But oh God, that she has a beautiful base. A Beautiful sculpt. I really regret it, and that's one thing. Mythos doesn't really re-release figures, so if you want the Celeste figure now, she's on resellers of up to like five hundred dollars, and I just I die a little inside when I see that price. If you happen to have the Celestia Ludenberg figure and you are thinking of selling it at a decent price, hit me up because yeah, there's. Probably not ever going to be a re-release of that, and I cry. Anyway, back to this Miku. I believe she is、uh, one of the most wished-for figures in the anime figure collecting community. But since she was supposed to be sold exclusively in China, I believe getting her was a bit more of a challenge.、Uh, but I was lucky enough to get my hands on this figure because there was an Australian figure site. So I used a site called Akimomo to pre-order her. I believe that this site is used to dealing with、um, pre-ordering figures that are maybe Chinese exclusive. So you know that is great for me because I was able to get my hands on this lovely lady. This figure cost me about 270 AUD, which、uh, I think is not too far off from the original. Um, Chinese listing price, so I'm pretty happy with the price. Even though $270 is、uh, still quite expensive, but from what I can tell, she's well worth that cost. There are so many intricate details. I just, you know what? Let's stop talking. I just want to open her up and get on with it. First, I just want to show off the lovely box that she came in. It is a clear box that has some decorations of flowers and birds and some gold embellishing around the corners.、Uh, it looks really lovely, honestly.、Um, if you were not going to take her out of the box, I think she would still look stunning. But、um, I do want to take her out because of all the、uh, protective packaging around her. And the back of the box has this lovely circular window frame,、uh, which is very reminiscent of Chinese garden kind of aesthetics. <laughs> yep, it's my Kamida teacup. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> I feel like I'm holding. A piece of art, you know. Some figures you're like, yeah, that's a waifu, that's a husband, though. This is art. Maithos did an amazing job recreating the artwork by Ask. Wow, wow, <laughs> she's so pretty. From like all the attention to like the sculpting, her hair on the back, all over her seat, and flowers. Just look at her face. Her eyes even have a bit of like gloss to them. Why am I whispering? I don't know. I feel like I don't want to disturb her aura. <laughs> I wish I knew the names of all these flowers, but they're just lovely. Her bracelet with the tiniest flowers. Her dress and her socks have this really, really delicate, super soft patterning to them. The Almost pearlescent shine and finish to her hair and her chipao is just gorgeous to look at. Oh my god, <laughs> I love her so much. She's beautiful. Mythos blew it out of the park. Literally, I cannot 
think of a single thing to complain about. Most figures, they're only like really considering being displayed in one way. <laughs> which is front or wherever the face is looking uh, but yeah I think you will have such a wonderful time just looking at her back view as well because of all of the thought and effort that was put into the placement of her hair it's an elegant seduction <laughs> um, I'm gonna call it that this is like the thumbnail shot or something <laughs> She is gorgeous, like, I wish I could be her. <laughs> even even little details that you might not even like pay attention to. Like, do you see this flower vase and how it's not just one solid color? It's got like aging and wearing to it. This flower vase right here, how it's so thin and like circular and flat. I don't know. And like, look at the dirt. Look at the freaking dirt. It is gorgeous looking dirt. <laughs> this might be my favorite Miku figure that has ever come out and the fact that she is in Chinese wear um, it's I don't know it's more special to me this is kind of why I love Miku Miku can be anything and I love the flexibility when it comes to Miku's design I think because I've only had praise for this figure I've got to say, she might just be my favorite figure that I own right now, uh, which is saying something because, you know, she's beating Kamaido. <laughs> this is so unique, so beautiful, so gorgeous, so breathtaking. Talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing, show-stopping, spectacular, never the same, totally unique. I just feel like looking at this figure, you can't help but smile. I just know I've got to be super careful while handling her because if any bit of this breaks, I'll be devastated for sure. I feel like I'll have to hold like a funeral <laughs> for my heart. Oh, beautiful, beautiful girl. Beautiful girl. I love this so much. Thank you so much, my ethos, for such, oh, such wonders. Yeah, I am definitely their fan now, and I will be <sighs> opening my wallet to them. You know me, I love Nagino Kumaida. If there was ever such a gorgeous figure of Kumaida, <laughs> God, I wish, but <laughs> yeah, come on, you can do it for me, right? <laughs> I'm just going to try to assemble her with her fan in the hand. So let me let me do that quickly. And here she is. She looks so shy. Oh, I feel like with the fan on, it just gives a whole new feeling to it. Like she's hiding a little shy smile behind her fan. Oh, I am not worthy to be in her presence. It's gonna be hard to decide which version I would prefer to display her in. Thank you so much for joining me on this amazing unboxing. I am so in love with her. This has given me such a high standard of what a beautiful figure should look like. I actually feel more inclined to seek figures of this kind of quality instead of uh, prize figures now. Of course, that doesn't mean I will stop buying prize figures, but I'm definitely now more on the lookout for just beautiful pieces like these, like so unique. This one is definitely going to be a highlight of my collection. Even my parents are going to love her, I think. And because I decided I'm going to be displaying her in the living room rather than my own uh, display shelf, I think everyone in the house will be able to enjoy looking at her. <sighs> I'm definitely going to be Looking at more of my ethos figures now. Beauty is pain, and that pain is my wallet, but the beauty is the happiness she gives in my heart. That's it from me today. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!